you know, we just talked to Kenny and Steph. Those two guys, you know, obviously they're pumped about this, but they haven't been here as long as you have for but, five years. I mean, after being in this program, you're now you're a fifth year senior. Just how special is this moment for you? It means a lot, man. I mean, it's the fourth year, you know, trying to change the program with uh, Coach Narduzzi and the staff here. And we've been preaching about this since day one. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to set a high goal, and you know, obviously you want to achieve it, and we get here. We get to this point, man, it's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? It's a really big deal. I've been preaching it for a very long time now. And it's just a blessing to be here at this point with, with all my brothers and everybody I went through this journey with. All the ups and downs that we done, we, we've been through, it's really a blessing, man. It's a big day. And I'm very excited. You see it on my face, man. I'm, oh, sorry, I'm good. You, you were with the other seniors at that kickoff luncheon before yeah. the year where Narduzzi kind of said, we'll see you in Charlotte. That's where we're going. I mean, were you surprised when he said that to all those people? Oh, uh, no, man. That's... That's a goal, man. As long as as long as everybody believes it, you know, that was a big thing this year. <laughs> that was a big thing this year. Um, you know, more than anything, it's like if you believe you can achieve, we have a bunch of guys coming in talking to us and stuff like that. And we really made a big deal, especially the seniors, you know. And shout out to George, and he was one of the biggest guys for me personally and really to the team. If you say you're gonna do something, you put your word behind it, and you believe that in your heart. You're going to get there at the end of the day. If that's all you're thinking about, you're not worried about failing and anything else like that. You keep your goal straight in line, you know what I'm saying? You follow that path all the way. You're going to get to where you need to go at the end of the day. And thank God, man, we're here. You know? At halftime, you guys go and you're down. What's the, I mean, it seems like you talked to Kenny, you talked to Pat. I mean, it sounds like nobody was worried. Everybody no. kind of felt pretty confident. You guys did no. it? DB, I mean, I think at that moment, me personally, I had the biggest, like, feeling the confidence in my heart, you know what I'm saying, for the team. I really wasn't that worried. DB came in with a speech to, towards the team, towards the defense especially. He said, go out there and do your job. We're putting everything out on the line. We, had, we You know what I'm saying? You have to put everything out so you're not saying what if after this game. You put everything out on the line, you have nothing to worry about the day after. You know what I'm saying? We're going to rest and recover, worry about the stuff later. Put everything on the line right now. It's a battle. We know this is going to be hard. It wasn't going to be easy from the start. We knew that. We mean here, we came to play. They came to play just like we did too. You know what I'm saying? He made that a big deal, you know, and we all understood that coming in. And we come out, and we always been preaching about fourth quarter, fourth quarter, second half of the game. You got you to gotta be able to play a, a whole, a full game. And I think we did as a team today. I'm very proud of this whole team and all the coaches and everything like that, getting that done today. It's a big deal. In the third quarter, you guys. You got the mentality of being able to come back for the second half. I think that's different from the past teams and earlier in the season. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, fourth, fourth quarter's been a big thing. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing that whole thing for us that we get in the middle every time, every single game since Coach Dudes came here. You got to be a team that finishes in the second half. You got to pull away from guys in the second half. Teams that finish games, teams that win games. You know what I'm saying? So seeing that as an example with other teams as well, we just got to be one of those teams that do that as a, full, as a complete team as a whole. Final question over here. In the, um, the third quarter, you guys forced, I think, three straight three and outs on week. Um, I mean, was there something you guys figured out about their hurry up offense or something to change, or was it just we're amped up, we're going to go do this? Nah, we just going to go do it. You know what I'm saying? The boys is ready to go. We came out firing. You know what I'm saying? I'm really proud of my boys. We're proud of my brothers, man. It's, that was a big deal, you know, having them come out with such energy. You got to keep the juice going the whole game. You keep the juice going the whole game, nobody going to roll through the whole game, man. So I'm really proud of these guys, man. Really proud of the whole team. We're proud of this whole team. But coming out with that same juice we had in the first quarter, the same mindset we had in the first quarter still. Even though we were down, guys still had energy. We had more energy coming out of the second half, even than we did in the first. So I'm really proud of guys keeping that up. The sideline was jumping. Everybody was jumping. The coaches was on it. Everybody was on it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just really proud of that. That's a big deal for us. I'm just really happy right now. I don't know what to say, man. This, this, this is the greatest one, the greatest day I had so far. So, man, thank God for everything. Anything else? Sure. Hey, what's up? What's up? So, what I say? Pat Panthers, close to change. Yup. Yup. Let's go. Woo!